So next topic is pumping lemma for regular languages. Uh, pumping lemma is a negativity test. Okay, so we can use pumping lemma in case of regular languages and in case of context-free languages. Context-free languages I will explain you in the upcoming videos. Uh, today I am going to explain you about the pumping lemma concept in the case of regular languages. Okay, so before going to uh, study this topic, I will explain you uh, what is a language and types of language, what is a regular language and finally we can discuss about what is pumping lemma for regular languages. So what is a language? A language means group of strings, right? Set of string is known as a language. So a language may be finite language or infinite language. These things are we already discussed. Anyway, once again, I will tell you what is a finite language. What is a finite language? A finite language means the language consists of finite number of strings. For example, we are taking the input symbols A comma B. Then we are taking one example, set of all strings of length exactly 2. So by using A and B, we can generate strings of length 2 is A, 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 B, B, A, B, B, right? Only these four strings. So this is a finite language because finite number of strings, four strings, right? And infinite language, infinite language means infinite number of strings. For example, set of all strings starting with A, starting with A means A, 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 starting here starting with A triple A, etc. A, B. This is also starting with A, etc. So, this is an infinite language that is infinite number of strings. Okay. Then, what is a regular language? So, we are going to discuss about regular languages. So, what is a regular language? A language is said to be regular. Then, there exists a finite automata for representing the language. Okay, a language is regular, then there exists a finite automata and we can represent the language by using a regular expression. Okay, so we can say every finite language, every finite language is regular. All finite languages are regular. If a language is finite, definitely that language is a regular language. We can design a finite automata and we can represent by using a regular expression. So, in case of finite languages, all finite languages can be regular. But what about the infinite languages? Is it regular or not? In case of infinite languages, if an infinite language is regular, so we already know finite and infinite languages. If an infinite language is regular, then there should exist a finite automata, right? If a language is regular, then there should exist a finite automata and we can represent by using regular expression. So, if an infinite language is regular, then there should exist a finite automata and we can represent the language by using a regular expression. Okay. So, that infinite language should have a repetition pattern or loop so that there exists a finite automata. So, if we want to design a finite automata, if we are taking an language and all the strings in the language should have some patterns. Okay, if there exists a pattern, repeating pattern, then only we can design a finite automata. For example, set of all strings starting with A, B. What, what will be the string A, B? A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, etc. Okay, so which is a repeating pattern here? A, B is repeating here. So, we can design automata for this one. That is some repeating pattern in the there something is repeating here. Okay, something is here, some input symbol is here. Anyway, A, B is repeating. So, we can say this language is a regular. If we are able to draw a finite automata for a language, then definitely that language is a regular language. Or if we can represent by using a regular expression, then definitely uh, that particular language is a regular. So, here we can see a repeating pattern and we can design an automata for this particular language. So, definitely this language is a regular language even though it is an infinite language. Okay, so every finite language is regular and in case of infinite languages, if there exists some repeating pattern, we can design a finite automata and uh, if we can design a finite automata and if we can represent by using a regular expression, then definitely that language is a regular language. And if, suppose, if there is no repeating pattern, no pattern is repeating in the strings. Okay, if we do not have, if we are not able to find any repeating pattern, then we can't construct a finite automata. Because of repeating pattern only, we are able to design the automata, then we can say that particular language is regular. 
if there is no repeating pattern then definitely we can't construct a finite automata so we can say the language is not regular okay so pumping lemma says that if an infinite language that is pumping lemma says that if an infinite language has to be accepted by a finite automata then there should exist some repeating pattern if there exists any repeating pattern then only we can design a finite automata that is the acceptor will be there okay which means inside a loop if we put a pattern so if we are putting some pattern then we can design the automata we should we get all other pattern in the language if there is no such pattern then we can't generate a new finite automata for any infinite language okay so we can say pumping lemma is a negativity test okay if there is any pattern if there is any pattern in the language then we can design the finite automata that means if you are putting a pattern inside a loop then we should repeat that pattern and we get all other pattern in the all other strings in the language if there is no such pattern there is no such pattern then we can't generate a finite automata for any infinite languages so pumping lemma is a negativity test so what pumping lemma is saying if a language is not regular then we can't find such a pattern okay if a language consists of if the language doesn't contains any pattern definitely that language is not a regular language that means we can't design a finite automata for this particular language this is in case of infinite language okay so in an infinite language if we are not able to find any pattern definitely we can't design a finite automata so that particular language is not a regular language but pumping lemma doesn't says whether the language is regular or not if we find such a pattern okay that is if there exists some pattern if there exists some pattern pumping lemma cannot ensure that this is a regular language or not if there is no pattern it is sure that it is not a regular language if there exists a pattern we can't ensure that it is regular or not reg not regular that is that's why we can say pumping lemma is a negativity test so so what is this one if there is a pattern also we can't prove that it is regular or not for example there could be some other strings in the same language in such a way that we can't put any pattern for example this is a language a b a b a b a b a b a b etc union a raised to p such that p is prime so this language is a combination of these two right here you can see some repeating pattern right but here there is no repeating pattern in this we can see repeating patterns here we can't see some repeating patterns there is no repeating pattern here here some repeating pattern is there okay and these two belongs to this particular language okay so even though we are able to see a repeating pattern we can't ensure that this language is a regular language but if there is no pattern definitely it is not a regular language if there exist a pattern we can't ensure it is regular or not okay so pumping lemma pass when the pumping lemma pass this negativity test to pass if a pattern exists may or may not be regular but it fail means if there is no pattern definitely it is not a regular language okay so if there is any pattern we can't ensure it is regular or not but if there is no pattern definitely it is not regular so pumping lemma can prove this only that is if there is no pattern definitely that language is not a regular language okay so if a language is regular we can generate finite automata and regular expression if you are if you are able to uh, generate a uh, finite automata and if you are able to design that is if you are able to design a finite automata and if you are able to represent by using a regular expression definitely that language is a regular language so now we can explain what is pumping lemma for a regular language so it is an important topic so what is pumping lemma if a language is regular pumping lemma says if a language is regular then there exists some positive integer then there exists some positive integer n this is pumping length number of states that is pumping length then there exists some positive integer n such that any string w from the language l so l is a l is a language we are taking any string w suppose i am taking l is equal to ab 
a b a b a b a b a b etc okay so i am taking a string w any string you can take this one also so if we are taking any string w which should has length greater than or equal to pumping length that is length of the string should be greater than or equal to this pumping length we need to take the string and that string length should be greater than or equal to this pumping length okay then we can divide the string into three parts x y and z so what is the condition here so suppose we are saying if l is a regular language then there exists some positive integer n which is a pumping length that is a number of states pumping length and any string w belongs to the language then the length of the string should be greater than or equal to pumping length then we can divide the string into three parts x y and z and it should satisfies three conditions first condition is for each i greater than 0 x y power i z should belongs to our language for i is greater than or equal to 0 okay second condition is length of y here we are pumping y we are dividing the string into three parts and here the middle part y okay y should not be zero y should not be empty so not equal to mod y greater than zero okay it is not mod y greater than zero and the third condition is length of x y less than or equal to n the length of x and y that is length of x and plus length of y should be gray less than or equal to pumping length so all the three conditions should satisfy okay so pumping lemma is a negativity test to check whether a language is regular or not if a language is a regular language then there exists some positive integer n such that any string from the language has length greater than or equal to n then we can divide the string into three parts and satisfy the conditions x y power i said belongs to language uh, length of the y should not be empty and the length of x and y should be less than or equal to pumping length okay so this is one of the method to check whether a language is regular or not only the one one method okay so if a language l there is a language l then we are uh, applying pumping lemma for that language if the test is positive pumping lemma is a negativity test right if the test is positive we can't predict whether the language is regular or not that is it is undecidable and pumping lemma the test is negative means the language is definitely not regular so we will start by assuming that the language is regular then finally we will say it is not regular okay that is first we are saying it is regular then that regular that is failing that is it will fail then we can ensure the assumption is wrong that is language is not regular that is contradiction okay so these are the conditions x y power i said x y power i said belongs to l y is the pumping part we are increasing the y and check the test is positive or negative okay and uh, this pumping y should not be zero and the length should be length of x and y should be less than or equal to pumping length so these are these are the steps by uh, for applying pumping lemma so we if we have a language we first assume that that is a regular language okay and finally we will say it is not regular so initially we will assume that the given language is a regular then we will take some pumping length n and we will take some string w which should be greater than or equal to pumping length okay now we find a string w in l such that the length of the string should be greater than or equal to n and then we divide the string into three parts then we will apply the conditions okay if any of the condition will fail then we can say the assumption is wrong that is it is not a regular language okay so ka contradiction so now with an example i will explain you how to prove a language is not regular by using a pumping lemma 